Hey there, welcome to some tips and the tutorial of 21st tutorial of the series of tutorial of Linux shell programming and shell scripting. In this video, I am going to cover up the until loop and while loop using the shell scripting and I will also do a programming of factorial of a number using this kind of loops. So let's get started. <laughs> So I'm first of all I'm going to discuss about the while loop. If you have used the C programming in the while loop or do while loop, remember one thing there is no do while loop here in this cell scape. Only while and until loop is there. So what basically do while loop? While loop will do or do some operation repeatedly unless and until it is terminating condition. So let me discuss this program. I have written the first line C equal to 10 and then the next line while this dollar c or the value of c is greater than 0 so c is now 10 so it is greater than 0 it will do this operation so the architecture of, of this while loop is the while do done the code between do and done is going to execute repeatedly unless and until this is found false so do echo out this value then what is going to be happen c equal to exp at dollar c minus 1 so c is going to be c minus minus so here this c minus minus c plus plus is not happen so that's why you're going to operation of expr so that's why i have used the reverse quotation so it will echo out this and it will go to minus so unless and until it is going to found zero it will go as soon as it is found the wrong because when it is become after first iteration it is going to be 9 9 is greater than 0 it is going to be happen so as soon as it is going to be false or it is does not satisfy this then then this while loop will terminate it so what is basically do it is going to be happen 10 9 8 up to 1 it is going to be printed so let's do run it so that's it you can see right now 10987654321 so in this way while loop one now i'm going to the until loop so it is until loop until it is going to architecture is also same until then between do and done all the code is going to be executed but the difference is there in until you can guess the the name of until that the while loop will do here the operation unless and until it get found false so as soon as this while loop condition get false the operation will not terminate it but this until loop will do operation and execute on stop executing this operation or iteration as soon as it is found true so in that case executes on true in here in until case execute on false so this is opposite case it is the until loop terminated on true case and execute on false case but in while loop execute on true case terminate on false case keep remember think in your mind so here it is what is going to be happen it is going to be check until it is one it is going to be print this c value of 10 9 8 and it is going to be c minus minus like x or c minus 1 so as soon as it is found 1 it is equal to 1 then this is not going to be into a done case until this so after 2 it is going to be printed so let's find out what is going to be happened yes that is going to be print up to 2 because i have written until 1 but if you are now going to be printed one also then what is going to be have to change you have to change it to zero so remember one thing you have to use it or equal to or greater than or everything by careful because it is terminated on true case so i have discussed until case and for while case now i'm going to do the programming of 
factorial of any kind of given number so it is the program I have written echo enter the number which you find to factorial read the number from the user storing to n then I am going to have store a variable of f equal to 1 now I am going to use it using until until this number is less than 1 so it is terminating or doing the iteration up to 1 that's why I have used less than 1 because I have found if I am going to use equal 1 that 1 will be not added in this iteration but if it is going to be less than 1 it is going to be added in iteration because the factorial is go 5 4 3 2 1 up to 1 not 0 so had I, I have not written one thing that 0 factorial is equal to 1 so if the, it is 0 it is 0 it, it is going to be written 1 or f equal to 1 so in this, that thing I have not written here because it will also do a complicated thing if or nested if lc will be come into act that's why i'm going to to keep this program as simple as you can understand that's why i have not uh, included this zero factorial part so let's remove this part from your mind and think always you are doing one or greater than one so it is going to be terminated as soon as it is found at zero or less than one now what is going to be do do f equal to xpr dollar f star dollar n so f star n so one star number then next line expand number will be decrease up to one so up to it is become one so condition with a not the user number not with the f then done result will be f now let me discuss what is going to have a first iteration if the user enter five what is going to happen if it is defined with one now n equal to five so if it is equal to f star n so f value is 5 n value sorry f value is 1 n value is 5 so now f value is 5 next n value is 4 next 5 into 4 it is going to be 20 is going to be stored in second iteration 20 f is 20 in second iteration next n become 3 net 20 into 3 it is going to be 30 next 20 into 3 it is going to be 60 then the fourth iteration it is going to be 2 16 to 220 then fifth iteration n becomes 1 120 into 1 f equal to 120 as soon as you next here it decreased n equal to 0 n less than 1 or 0 less than 1 true terminated to done echo out the result the result is 120 if the enter number is 5 so let's run this program the program number is 19 in the number to 5 factor 120 6 7 20 4 24 in this way you can do factorial of any kind of number using cell script for cell programming if you found this video helpful hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe some tips to get more videos on cell programming and cell scripting thanks for watching this video hope to see you soon in my next video